In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to burn cover four drop and cover two for a one play touchdown in Madden 21. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel is all about helping people become the best Madden player they can become. And if you want to get better at this game, I just want to encourage you to click the subscribe button at the bottom of the screen. It's completely free to subscribe and it just allows you to be able to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies right here on the channel. And like I said, in this video, we're talking about my Gun Bunch meta offense. If you have not already gotten my full entire uh, defense or offensive guide on how to run the Gun Bunch, you can get that in the description. We like walk you step by step through how to have the most dominant offense in Madden 21. And so if you want to get access to that video or that uh, guide, there's a link down in the description below and you can get that for just $15. It also comes with um, the entire Jets playbook, the Bunch tied in and the Trips tied in offset. So it's kind of a three for one package deal. Now, like I said, in this video, we're talking specifically about how to beat cover two and how to beat cover four drop. So what we're gonna do here is we're actually gonna run a relatively simple little setup here. We're going to take our running back on the left hand side of the screen here and we're gonna put him on a little option route just like so. And we're gonna take the circle receiver and put him on a hitch just like this. And we're gonna take the tight end and we're gonna put him on a little flat route just like that. And that's pretty much it. And first and foremost, I want to show you cover four drop, and then we'll go over cover two. So against cover four drop here, you're going to see that if we have time in the pocket, this uh, square receiver is going to just get over the top of the zone. And of course, as soon as I say that, I get picked off. Um, let me show you that. Let me show you first against cover two, and then we'll come back to cover four, just so you can see that this does work against uh, at least cover two. It will work against cover four too, and we'll go over how to make it work in just a moment. But again, this is cover two. It might be because I didn't smart route the square receiver. But if you watch here, cover two, just right up the seam, just like that. And as you'll see, you'll be able to beat cover two for a one play touchdown. This is really important because a lot of people are shifting to playing cover two against the gun bunch. Cover two does a good job against plays like smash return and flood and some of that stuff. And so you need a play that's going to be able to just take the top of the defense. Another reason why this is important is because against things like the cover four. Um, and so let's talk about that for just a moment here. So again, we're just gonna use that. We're gonna use a wheel route. Maybe that was what I was doing wrong. But you'll see here, this cover four defense, typically what happens is as long as we pass like this up, that's more of what we're seeing just like that against the cover four. As long as you do that little swerve catch, you should be effect pretty effective against it. Uh, let me show you one other way that you can run this play. Um, as far as uh, getting open against cover four drop, uh, you can do this setup right here uh, where this corner route really does serve nice. The only problem is the corner route against cover four can cause a little bit of friction or a little bit of an issue against the cover four drop just because of kind of how the thing plays. So if you know for a fact that they're in cover four with this play, then what you want to do is just simply hitch, um, simply hitch just like this right here. And if you use these hitches and curls, uh, this is going to do a really good job because now with motion and everything, you're going to see that that guy will basically sit just like that. And that's more of what we're looking to try to have happen right over the top of the defense, over the top for a one play touchdown against cover four. So um, this will also work against cover two. Um, it's just not as, uh, in my opinion, it's not as powerful, but it will work against cover two. So let me show you that. I'm going to go to cover two here and we're going to run the same setup. So I'm just going to use these hitches and curls with the wheel route combination this motion right here does a really nice job and what you'll see is that he gets over the top of the cover two zone just like that right there the problem on that setup is you have to wait a little bit longer so if you know they're in cover two i'd go with the first setup if you don't know then i would go with the second setup it's a little bit more uh proven against kind of both defenses it's really hard to uh, get over the it's really hard for the cover four to stop this setup right here because these hitches just do such a good job of just holding zones and then it's really easy to just basically bomb right over the top as long as you have a little skinny pose just like this um, it's relatively effective so that's how you bomb cover four in cover two uh, when people are shifting to that this is going to force them to have to play cover three and the problem with that is when they go to a cover three style defense let me show you kind of what this looks like but when they go to a cover three, uh, cover three style of defense, that's when you can leverage this play right here, Jets Dig. Literally, all you have to do is just call the play. And what you're going to see is that this, um, this R1 route will pretty much always burn it over the top. Right there, I threw it a little bit too late. Basically, what you want to do is as soon as the middle safety 
Uh, as soon as the middle safety kind of does a little bit of a movement to the inside, that's where you know you've got him over the top. So let's run this again. And again, I'm just watching that safety as soon as he moves uh, right there. I'm just going to pass lead this in and click on. And as you can see, we get over the top. Let me show you that one last time. We're having a little bit of issue with Rodgers. I don't know why Rodgers isn't throwing the ball. Normally, Rodgers throws the ball perfectly. It's why the Packers are the best uh, team for regs. It's also why Brett Favre is the best quarterback in Mutt. Uh, he has a similar throwing motion. But again, right there, and that's what we're looking to get right there. So as you can see, now you've taken their ability to play cover two, cover three, and then cover four away. And so what it's going to do is it's going to force them to play some type of cover three style of invert defense. So it would look something like this, where they're playing, you know, you basically force them to have to essentially play this kind of defense right here. And then the problem with that is, is if we go back to that first setup from Bunch Trail, as long as we're really doing a good job of our hitches and our curls, uh, we have actually a decent shot at being able to get over the cover three. You'll see right here this post. If I just wait, and you see how he kind of stops there? But if I just wait, occasionally he'll actually keep running and we'll be able to get over top of even that coverage as well, which is really, really cool. You're able to get over a lot of different coverages with this. This also is going to force your opponent um, to have to just, you know, give up the corner route, to be honest. Um, if you have a good corner route, and I'll, talk, I'll show you what I'm talking about. So if you have, um, if you have a play like Mesh right here, uh, where you can really leverage the power of this corner route to the outside, you'll see that if I just call this play, the circle receiver is going to get in a really soft spot of that zone when they have to do that adjustment. And so you're really able to kind of burn pretty much everything that your opponent can do. Another thing that you can do from this, and we talk a little bit about this in the defensive or the offensive guide, but another thing that you can do um, if you're worried that they're going to be running that specific type of setup on you is you can audible to the, P the PA boot over. And basically all you're going to do is you're just going to put both receivers on the left side on flat routes. You're going to block your tight end, really only looking to hit this post. But this is where that post has now come to the inside a little bit more. And you have a shot at getting that over the top. You also have some other routes on the left side that you can work. But this is a really uh, cool way to force your opponent to have to run a very specific type of coverage and in fact that specific type of coverage that we're going to force them to have to run um, is going to be very vulnerable to things like corner routes and um, corner routes and curl routes and all of that stuff because they just can't defend everything and uh, that's really the beauty of this offense you see right there that little corner route to the tight end gets wide open it's why it's so effective when they start deep half it on the outside it's going to open up everything else thanks for watching this video and if you want to get the entire gun bunch offensive guide out of the jets playbook you can get that in the description for just fifteen dollars you're going to be able to get access to the bunch the bunch tight end and the trips tight end offset all rolled into one deal for you and again if you want to get that guide it is available down in the description of this video